We're back, everybody. Now, Billy, let's, uh, let's set this up for a second. You are, for anyone who doesn't know, you are very serious about, about baseball, about yeah. the Yankees. Yeah, the, the Yankees, yeah, in particular. It, it actually got me into uh, being a baseball player in high school out in Long Island. Um, uh, and then when I went to college in West Virginia a little bit, got me um, into stand-up comedy and theater. Mm -hmm. I was playing second base. And the men are first, slow ground ball to short, which you hate, because you know you're going to get dumped on a double play. And I'm there, and I go to make the turn, and all I saw was this uniform like, right there, and I got dumped ooh, up in the air. And as I was coming down, Conan, I saw a sign that said, auditions today. <laughs> and then, boom, I hit the ground. I'm like, uh -huh. I better do that. The comedy thing. Yeah. You, you hung out at, you, uh, you know, of course, George Steinberg, and you got to actually sit in the box. Yeah. The World Series last year. I started, I, I met Joe Torre. I spoke at Mickey Mantle Day mm -hmm. last year when they, um, they unveiled Mickey's uh, memorial. And uh, Joe said, that was really great. Anything we could do? I said, well, can I work out with a team once? He said, yeah, we're going to Anaheim. You're going to be out there? So I, I worked out with them. And then I started calling Joe Torre on the phone. He gave me his numbers during mm -hmm. the course of the pennant drive. Mm -hmm. And it became a thing. Like, we were superstitious. I'd call them, they'd win. I'd call them, you know, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And then I ended up... They invited me to the World Series. I'm sitting in, in Mr. Steinbrenner's box, and there's a weird combination, the great Joe DiMaggio and Henry Kissinger. <laughs> and uh -huh. Senuenses, and I'm not sure why. <laughs> do you like the game? Yes, I do. <laughs> and, uh, yes, I like yeah. the game. Oh, well, it was a So now, I had met Mr. Kissinger about 10 years earlier on the Concorde flying to London when I was doing Saturday Night Live. And I ended up sitting next to him. The, the plane is very small. Mm -hmm. Have you been on it? Yes, I've been yeah. on the Concorde, yeah. So um, he's sitting next to me, and it's very tight. And I'm with Henry Kissinger, and I'm looking at him going, what did the chicks think about this guy? He was like a big ladies' man. He was I'm a going, very, yeah, very I'm, big ladies' man. With all due respect, I don't get it. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, no one will hear that. Don't worry. <laughs> and uh, he's, may I say something to you? <laughs> he said, sure. I've been thinking about this for a while. I want to say something to you. I said, I said what, sir? He goes, you look marvelous. <laughs> so, so now, uh -huh. so now it's 10 years later. I'm in, I'm in Steinbrenner's box. It's the sixth game of the World Series. And so there he is. And he says, oh, good to see you again. I said, nice to see you, Mr. Happy. <laughs> and, <laughs> He says, I want them to get my wife. Oh, honey, come here. Look who's here. Honey, come here. <laughs> Look who's here. Look, Billy Joel. Say hello to him. <laughs> uh -huh. So then uh, the first game of the series, and uh, the Yankees are losing 11 to 1 or something, mm -hmm. you know, and he turns to Mr. DiMaggio, who's this, this is, you know, this is the greatest hero, you know, yep. and, and he says to him, the Yankees are stinking up the joint. He goes, hey, Joe, suit up. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, and I said, oh, it's great seeing you at Yankee Stadium. He said, yeah, yeah, well, nice to see you, Dr. Kissinger. He said, no, I'm at the ballpark. Call me Hank. Yes. <laughs> you got a sense of humor. A little bit. Not little bad. A little, little bit. Well, should we show this thing? Uh, we got to, right? Uh, we, uh, any setup we need for this? We, I have to tell you, your staff is great, and you're great. We did this so last minute. Yeah. Sorry you couldn't make it. That's all right. And... <laughs> Literally, we finished playing at 2.30 this afternoon, and right. here we are a couple yeah, hours well, later. I haven't even seen it yet, because they edited this thing pretty quickly. And we but did about an hour and something, so I, I, we have not seen it. We this, have no so. idea what's happened, but we'll take a look at uh, our little trip to, uh, to Yankee Stadium. All right, we're here in uh, Yankee Stadium. Uh, Billy Crystal got us in. Thank you, Billy. You were, now, this is very hard for you, isn't it? You are a Boston Red Sox fan. I grew up in Boston, and when I was a kid, I used to watch... Uh, the Red Sox come here and play the Yankees, and I was told as a kid, and we believed it, that if a Red Sox fan came to Yankee Stadium, they'd be murdered. Yes. And then we found out you'd actually, you don't have to be a Red Sox fan, you can just come here and anyone can be murdered. Yeah, it, it, it's a handgun night here, and there's some other <laughs> oh, good. public beating night. So I took Tino Martinez's bat, because he's got 14 home runs and like way too many RBIs. That's Who's pretty bat good. Do you have? Uh, this is Shemp's bat, yeah. This is Pat Kelly from the Yankees up at bat. So, Pat, you're on national television. All right. Show us what you got. I want a, I want a pitcher, not a glass of water. <laughs> Here's 
Georgi Stramski. No, oh, jeez. Into the seats, into the seats. That's Tommy Toon. <laughs> Why do the hands hurt so incredibly when you hit the ball? Because you have very soft hands. Oh. <laughs> I love him. Here's where I actually show him what I'm made of. I think you look like Marlena Dietrich after a crying <laughs> episode. That's why I always wanted to turn a double play, so maybe we'll, we'll get a chance to do that as, uh, as uh, more fun continues. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh Did you see the kid from Boston oh, drop the ball? Yeah. Just a soft hand. Conan. What? Catch it, the ball. It was Billy's fault. <laughs> what? It was right there. No, you did it all wrong. Get those little talk show hands. Look at all the mail. This is all, I'm guessing, mail for Daryl. Look at that. Daryl Strawberry, Daryl Strawberry. Daryl Strawberry, IRS, Daryl Strawberry. Look at this. You don't even need an address to get to Daryl Strawberry. You just write Daryl Strawberry and it gets you. That's impressive. Wow. Time cards. Right. Oh. Hey, do they punch out after a game? I don't know. Got a magazine. Open one of his letters. You want me to open it? Open one of the letters. I notice you're telling me to do it. Yeah. Go ahead. You're the host. I'm just a guest. It's not taking the deal, man. Yeah. I think I'm getting okay. fun. It's just someone who wants them to sign his card. That's nice. Well, that's cool. So yeah. You're not you know, I'm going to give a real treat for this kid. I'm going to sign it and send it to him. That's going to be a real treat for him. So that he'll be excited once someone explains who I am. Now, who do you think, Daryl? This? Mariano? Four letters. Yeah. And look, they're all in his handwriting. He writes them to himself. Suspicious? I do that. That's yeah. the saddest thing you can do. Look at this, here. Look, uh, this is going to get someone in trouble. The Yankees stole a shopping cart uh, from Gristiti's Market. This is bad. If George finds out about this, this guy's traded, whoever did this. I think it was George. I think, I think George saw a way to save. What is this probably worth, $38? 38 bucks, yeah. This is interesting. They have a litter box in the middle of the clubhouse. Yeah. It saves time, actually. <laughs> you know? Before the game? Yeah. Why go all the way into the men's room? When you got the box. Yeah. Can you, can you help me with the pronunciation? That's a venereal disease, I believe. That's the pasta. Yeah. You don't I mean, want to get that. No. How do you explain to your wife that you've got Macho Pasqua? <laughs> this is a grown man, Wade Box. He's 37, 38 years old. And yet, the upper left hand corner, a little stuff down there. That's a cry for help if there ever was one. It's just team members only, so let's go. Let's go. Wow. Health food. <laughs> Look, see, the players stay in shape. Sugar cookies. You got your Skippy. This is great. Hey, look at this. Gum. Stick. You were really very touched to be there. I mean, you've been there before, but you just, you, first of all, you played great, but you just were like a kid in a candy store there Oh, the isn't time. it the best? It's yeah. one of the best places in the world. It's like this huge synagogue with grass. You know, it's like the best place. <laughs> no, I love that place. I, I, it, uh, you know, I grew up going there. You know, my first game was 1956. You love a team like I love this team, you know, and you love the game and you play a little bit. But then you get, you know, you saw, you're out on that infield and, and Phil Rizzuto played there. Holy cow. And... Oh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I gotta tell you, uh -huh. oh, it's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. 
It was a, uh, well, it was a good time for us, too. And, and like I was saying today, we don't have access to many places, so if you could just get us into places from now on. Where do you want to go? Uh, I'd like a remote in, in France, actually. Okay. Just me and Andy, you take us to France, and we eat in the finest uh, restaurants. I know some people. <laughs> All right, I'm looking forward to that. I have showed up on France's doorstep before, and they just <laughs> go away. No, well, we'll... it's just going to be us anyway. So. Oh, no! Andy! Oh. Andy! We'll take it, Andy. <laughs> Good. Yay! We get to go to France. <laughs> All right, uh, Billy Crystal, we can't thank you enough, and uh, best of luck with the movie. I thank hear great you. things about it. And come on back sometime. I will definitely Billy do that. Billy Crystal, everybody. Wolfgang Puck, Anka Radagovich are coming up. We'll be right back.